Don't you love it that autumn is finally here? Hi, I'm Mr. Mark at Mr. Mark's Classroom and I want to show you a fun fall activity to do with your preschoolers. So it's basically the leaf rubbing plan and we've probably done it before and you've picked up leaves, just you know, make sure they're clean and dry and like sycamore leaves or oak leaves, those are the best. But if you're having a hard time finding some, you could do like we did here. We just use some fine grit sandpaper and pressed them out with the die press. And actually, it worked really good. And whenever you do the crayon rubbing, it does show up really well. So basically, you might try this. Go ahead and use some two-sided or double stick tape and just peel off a little bit and stick the, the leaves to the table. I know, isn't that brilliant? And so stick the leaves to the table and then the kids will move their paper around on it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's try this red one first. What? Oh yeah, that really shows up great. Excellent. All right. And then you can turn your paper a little bit and try a different one. Or I guess you could hold the paper in the same place if you're going to put all of the leaves on the table like this. But I kind of think it's fun to be able to turn the paper and try some different, uh, different leaves. Let's do this orange and see what comes up. I think it's kind of cool how you can reveal the different, the different leaves. Now the darker colors really do show up really well. So let's try that again over here. Yeah, look how this black, man, that shows up big time. And so you can keep moving it and turning it and letting the kids experience different things. And I just use these broken jumbo crayons because you can get a hold of it with your fingers and hold on to it easier than the small ones. Pretty easy to do. And I think the kids will be very, very surprised on how well it shows up. So keep moving them around. And it's a great piece of art to send home. You can just put, God made the world and put the reference and it'd be a great thing to send home. I think they're gonna like this a lot. Now, if you wanna go the extra mile, which is always nice, you could laminate it like we did here and you'd be able to use it as a placemat. And you can say, I give thanks and thank you God for creating the world. And it would be a great reminder when they go to the table and eat that they would give thanks. I hope you like this idea and you'll try it. It's super easy, so you can just put it in your back pocket and use it at any time during the autumn. It'll be a whim. Hey, we've got lots of great ideas in our learning centers beyond compare. Over 200, by the way. And it's very Pinteresty. like there's a picture and a recipe, how to play the game or how to set up the center. And it's got all five centers and bonus centers and it has a lot of literacy ideas as well that I know you will enjoy using. If you're needing ideas, we have them. You can check it out at Mr. Mark's Classroom. Be sure to sign up for uh, the whole uh, episodes of Mr. Mark's Classroom that you'll see each Monday. And when you sign up with your email address, you will also get a free book. We want you to be part of our community and join us.